Have you faced issues with Amazon changing your product dimensions and increasing fulfillment fees? It's a real hassle for FBA sellers, happens a lot, and dealing with it takes up a ton of time. You got to keep tabs on a bunch of information, especially since Amazon's policies are changing faster than the wind. But there is a solution. With the brand new FBA fees reimbursement feature by Sellerize, everything you need to do now is simply upload your product dimensions into this special tool, make a few clicks, and let the magic happen. Let's have a closer look at how it works. In the left side menu of Sellerize, we are going to unfold the reimbursements section, and then we are going to select the FBA fees tool. Now there is also a separate tool for lost or damaged inventory and shipments, and you can see that here. And we have another video about this, and you can check the link in the description below if you're interested in that. But for now, we are inside of the FBA fees reimbursement tool. First of all, you need to add your product details to Sellerize. And for that, we are going to click add new product over here on the right hand side. And that's going to open up the add a new product widget. Now we've already analyzed and collected all of your active FBA products. So you just need to select a product from that list. So we will open the drop down here. And for example, we will go with this product here. And once we have that selected, we need to specify the correct package weight and dimensions of this product. Here's how to find them out. First, you need to take a single item package with the item inside as it would be received by a customer. Next, you want to weigh that package and specify this number in the verified package weight field. So let's assume our product package actual weight is two pounds. So I'm going to enter a two right there. After that, you want to measure the package's longest edge as its length, its second longest edge as its width, and its shortest edge as its height. Our product's dimensions will be 5 inches in length, 4 inches in width, and 0 0.7 inches in height. Now, just a quick note for Amazon US, you must measure your units in inches and weigh them in pounds. So if you are used to the metric system, converting those numbers can be a real headache. But with Sellerize, you can hit up the switcher right here, punch in your product details in kilograms and centimeters, and boom, the tool will convert those values for you after you add the product. Now, how cool is that? You can also specify your product packaging here. It's optional and it doesn't influence the fees calculation, but we recommend setting it as it will help you submit re-measurement cases faster. And since our product is packed into a cardboard box, let's choose rigid container. And lastly, we can select your product category here. In most cases, you'll have a pre-selected category. Actually, Sellerize will do that for you based on the information from other reports. As we can see, I have consumer electronics automatically selected. Now, before we dive in, just a heads up. Amazon's got some measurement rules, and it's crucial that we follow them. We know it can be a pain to track all the changes, so we've got your back and squeezed all that information into one handy guide that you can access right here by clicking this link. And if I open that up, we can see what that looks like here. And I recommend that you take a peek at the guide to make sure that you've measured right before tossing the dimensions into Sellerize. It'll impact your fee reimbursements and re-measurement results. So, you know what they say, better safe than sorry. And heading back, as soon as you are certain of the enter dimensions, go ahead and click Add Product. You'll see your products added as a new row in the table, and the tool will start calculating fees and estimating discrepancies right away. And this can take a little while, so it's best to go ahead and let it load for a little bit. If you have many products, you can import their details in bulk instead of adding them one by one. And you can do that by clicking import right here. You can simply download the template from clicking this button here, fill it in, and upload it into Sellerize following the step-by-step -step instructions. For now, let's go ahead and close out of that. 
As soon as your product data is processed, the tool will show you if there are any discrepancies and potential reimbursements in the estimated reimbursement column that we can see here. And on top of that, the create case button will become active. This means that you can send a re-measurement request to Amazon, and if they confirm their mistake, you'll be able to ask for a reimbursement. So let's go ahead and do that now and click on create case. First, the tool will ask you to ensure that you've provided the correct product dimensions and remind you that Amazon has the final say in the result of any re-measurements. So double check your product information on the right. Once you are sure, read and tick both checkboxes on the left. Once we've done that, we're gonna click on next. On step two, you are going to click on the dimensions re-measurement page and that's gonna open it on your seller central in a new tab. Next, you wanna copy your FN SKU here by clicking this option here to copy. And then you wanna paste it into the corresponding field on seller central shown on the left-hand screenshot. So on this page that we opened up, you're gonna see a field that looks just like this. You're gonna paste in that SKU that we copied here. Then you are going to select the remeasure option from the issue list on Seller Central that looks just like this here. Finally, you're gonna click on Next, both on Seller Central and then here inside of Seller Rise. Next, Amazon will ask you to specify the reason for your remeasurement request. It'll depend on your particular situation, though in most cases, you'll need to select items measurements have become incorrect despite no change to my packaging. And you can see that option will be listed just right here. After that, you need to specify your expected or actual product dimensions. You can just copy them from here and then paste them inside of your seller central account. Lastly, select the packaging type of your product as we can see on the right hand side. If you provided this information to seller rise before, the tool will remind you of your packaging type on the left-hand side. After that, click Next once again on both Seller Central and here inside of Seller Rise. Finally, click the Remeasure Request on your Seller Central tab to submit the case. And once you have that submitted, copy the case ID, come back here inside of Seller Rise and paste it right here. So I will go ahead and paste mine now. And then finally, we are going to click on finish. Once we do that, you'll receive a success message and the create case button will now turn gray for this product right away. Now, Sellerize will track the status of this case for you and you'll be able to access it inside of the cases tab up here at the top right. Inside of here, you can see some important case details like how and when the case was opened, its status, pending, reimbursed, etc. We can even filter the cases, we can export them into an Excel file, and to learn more about any particular case that you have, you can click on the view button located here. And inside you can check additionally how much money you've gotten back from money being reimbursed. And you can see for which orders, as well as read your correspondence with Amazon down here at the bottom. If you need to send a reply, you can click on the case ID here at the top. You'll be redirected to this case on Seller Central right away. All of your actual fee reimbursements will be recorded and stored inside of the history tab over here on the right hand side. However, these are only your FBA fee reimbursements. If you want to get the whole picture of all the reimbursements on your account, including for lost or damaged inventory and shipments, you can open the reimbursements dashboard from the left side menu. So we'll open that up. We will expand reimbursements and we will click on dashboard. Now, regardless of the reimbursement type, you'll see here all the money reimbursed by Amazon for each of your products. And if we scroll our dashboard over to the right a little bit, you'll see all of your FBA fee reimbursements in a corresponding column. And that's it. If you want to learn more about Seller Rise reimbursement tools, you can check out the other educational resources that we have in the Help Hub at the top. 
or you can simply drop a message in the chat down here at the bottom right and the Sellerize customer care team will tackle any questions that you've got. Until then, cheers.